Hiring Out show. Connection with the City of Hope. Um, I've just been involved in doing stuff for them philanthropically in the past, and I have a lot of respect for City of Hope, uh, mainly because they've evolved so much all the way back from their early beginnings to working with tuberculosis patients to stem cell research now and HIV, and it's just uh, it's important. They really affect a lot of people. They really touch a lot of people. Now, on a lighter note, what has it been like touring with Stevie Nicks? It's just fantastic. I, it's, I cannot tell you. She is the real deal. And, you know, nowadays when everything is really revolved around so much imaging and, uh, you know, people that actually don't really even sing and stuff, she gets out there every night for two and a half hours, just gives it her all. And, um, and, and she makes a real soul connection with her audience, and they love her. And I just like standing out there and, you know, receiving some of that love. It's fantastic. Now, you uh, co-produced her new album, correct? Uh-huh. Now, what did you learn from her? Um, hmm, a lot. It's funny. I, I always joke with her that I'm too old to produce her, and she's she is older than me, but she is still so young-spirited, and she will stay up all night working and hanging out, and she's just a doll. She has an extreme, extremely disciplined worth at work ethic that once she's in there, she's really focused, and she's got a great music vocabulary, and... Um, you know, I just, every time I'm around her, I'm always picking up nice tricks of the trade. Now, what's next for Sheryl Crow? I have a record coming out in January, I think. January 10th, is that right? Yeah. And uh, up until that point, I'm just going to be getting ready, finishing the artwork and stuff like that. So, so how, how have you been dealing with the, the, in light of the events of September 11th? Mm -hmm. I've been dealing with it like everybody else. I watch tons of CNN, and I'm just about to OD on all the news coverage. But it's, it's... I, it's almost imperative that that you watch it because it's so yeah. sort of absorbing and things are changing by the second. And, you know, I'm just I'm I'm nervous. I'm like everybody else. I'm trying to do my part. You know, I, if I were in New York, I'd be volunteering. And so, you know, just do you do you do you think there's hope for the future? Uh, there's always hope. Absolutely, you can't right. lose hope. Right. The blaring out show.